Hi. Pat's here. Hi, Pat. Pat's here. Hi, Pat. Pat. Free. Hi. 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 you can hear each other right now because I can put you on, all on mute. I'll only put you off of mute when we are uh, taking breaks in between doing exercises and things like that. Okay, so we're going to uh, go through a warm up, some stretching, some legs, some core. Uh, Annalisa will demonstrate. Mr. Larry is going to speak to you. After we finish our warm up, I'll let you guys talk to each other for like two to three minutes and then we'll get into the the conditioning stuff and then if there's extra time before three o'clock then i'll let you guys talk to each other once you're done okay here's mr larry hello girls i'm starting off by sanitizing because that's important maybe you can sanitize at the end of your workout too annalise would you like some sanitizer sure okay so in my house in my house there is a picture and it says in the middle of crisis lies opportunity so what does a crisis mean a crisis means something that makes you uncomfortable something that makes you feel that 
you don't know what to do with it, things like that. And an opportunity, you know what that means. So in this crisis, the, where we're not allowed to go to school, you're not allowed to come to gymnastics at this moment, um, what can you do to make it an opportunity? Well, you can make sure that you're on these workouts that we have on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for the XL, bronze, silver, and gold, and all of our compulsory athletes. And so you can increase your flexibility, you can increase your strength, and that's an opportunity. You can also rest your body from all the pounding of gymnastics and a lot of different sports that you do. Some people have asked me that they're afraid that, oh, I'll, I'll lose my gymnastic skills. You won't lose your gymnastic skills in a small period of time. And your mind doesn't know that you're actually not doing them. So when you go to bed at night, what you can do is you can lie in your bed and you can see yourself doing gymnastics in your mind, go through your routines, go through all of your individual skills. So you'll come back even stronger than you were before, more flexible and a great gymnast just like you are. Okay, so Annalisa, our level 10 gymnast, is going to be demonstrating for it. So have fun, guys, and see you soon. Who's over there? Okay. Uh, these guys aren't starting with the formula. You can put that to the side. All right, girls. So we're going to start off by doing 100 jumping jacks, okay? You go from an X position with the arms out to the side and the legs straddled, and then arms are down to the side in an I position. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Now we're going to do what's called these are called mountain climbers. I don't mean the mountain climbers with the, that are jumping lunges. Okay, um, you're gonna get in a push-up position and you're gonna kind of drive your knees forward in a single leg tuck at a time. So you're just gonna you're gonna kind of run. Hold on, let me make sure you can see her. Okay, ready? Yeah, like that. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. Okay, now you're going to go on all fours and you're going to do wrist rocks, okay? Fingers facing away from the body, palms down, 10 rocks forward. Go 1, 2, we're going to do 5 actually, 3, 4, 5, turn the wrists around or turn the fingers around. So just like her. One, two, three, four, five. Turn the palms upside down. Or, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Fingers facing each other. One, two, three, four, five. Fingers out. One, two, three, four, five. Obviously, you guys can see Arya has decided to join us as well. Okay, so we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna stretch our Achilles now for one minute, okay? 
So we're going to do the stretches that we do on the floor. If you have like a, a staircase or a ledge in your house, you can do it off the edge of the stair or off the edge of the stair of, of whatever ledge you have. Okay. If you don't have that available near you, then you're going to just do what, what Annalisa does. Okay. Okay. So we're going to do this for one minute. Okay. I'll tell you when 30 seconds has passed and then you're going to switch sides. Mm. This is ours. What's up, guys? <laughs> what? I think they have gone to your um, computer. And no, I invited them. Oh. No, nope, I invited them. Oh. <laughs> and other side. Did you go pee so. in your? All right, now we're gonna do candle pike five times. Ready? Oh, they're, and they're for one. Anna, they're frozen. Reach forward as far as you can. Two. Three. Don't arch. Make sure your hips are flat at the top of the candle. Four. And we're gonna hold the fifth one with the feet pointed. Hold. We're holding for 15 seconds with our feet pointed, then 15 with our feet flexed. What? What? No. And flex. So your face should be on your legs. You should be reaching past your feet. Your feet should be flexed. Okay, good. And now we're gonna do candle, straddle, reach forward. We're not straddling all the way through. Okay, just reach forward in a straddle. Okay, five times, go. One, two, don't arch your hips down. Three, make sure your hips are flat, girls. Make sure your knees aren't rolling when you reach forward. Four, and now we're gonna hold the fifth one and, and then we're gonna reach to the right, okay? So reach the right side in your straddle right now. And we're gonna hold that reach for 15 seconds to the right. And we're gonna move to the middle next. Then we're gonna move to the left. We're gonna hold 15 seconds on all positions. Middle. Make sure you're not rolling your knees in. Okay, make sure the knees are facing the ceiling. No turning your feet in. Left. Left side. Hey, can you move that formal out of the way, please? Just move it off the side. Like three. It's fine. All right, good. And now we're going to get out of it, and we're going to get into a right leg lunge position, okay? And we're going to just rock forward and back. Uh, I'd like to see your hips square, your back flat, your butt squeezed. I do not want to see a split line between your legs. We're just trying to stretch our hip flexors. This is not for um, really anything other than that. Okay, so just forward and back with light rocks, squeezing the butt, making sure your hips are 100% square. Make sure you're squeezing the butt on the side that is not in front of you, okay? So that should be the left side of your butt you should be squeezing. Okay, and now we're gonna move to either, some of you have like a couch, some of you have like a wall, okay? So move close to a wall or a couch or whatever. You can see she's gonna use the red block. She's gonna move her back shin so it's vertical against the block, and she's gonna do the same thing we just did. So she's gonna do right leg lunge rock, back shin is vertical against the block, 15 second rock, okay? And go. Good, and now she's gonna straighten her front leg and reach forward. Still in that position with the back shin vertical. Make sure your front leg is straight and you're reaching past your foot. Now flex your front foot. Back shin is vertical, front foot is flexed, legs are straight. Make sure you're reaching farther than your foot. 
Okay, Brooklyn, make sure you reach forward past your foot there, bud. All right, now we're going to do a standing lunge. Okay, so she's going to stand up. Back leg straight, chest up, just like that. And now we're going to do a deep lunge with our back leg up. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, a minute of splits. We're going to slide out to our right leg split. Our arms are going to be out for the first 30 seconds, so arms out to the side. And then we're going to reach forward past our foot and rock for the second set of 30 seconds, okay? Ready? Arms are out. Laterally. Ready, set, go. And reach forward and rock. Hello. Yes, it's on. Good, are you? Yeah, and they gave me the book again, and I didn't know what else to do but grab it. Okay, I can do it over the phone. Frog now? Sorry, left. Okay, can you just email me about it with the details? Don't do that again. Of the telemedicine, or just is this it's just a call? Okay. Okay. Sorry, girls. Lunge rock, left side. Yep, sounds good. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, bye. All right, now we're gonna put our back shin against the, vo the wall and we're going to do our lunge rock on our left side. Sorry girls, I had to take that call as my doctor, but I'm good now. Ready, and 15 seconds, go. As long as he's, as long as he's good, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they can better potty train home. Good, and now we're going to reach forward with our legs straight and our foot pointed. Reach past your foot. Those are grapes. And now flex your front foot. Your back shin should be up against either the couch or the wall. If it bothers your knee to do the back shin thing, you should make sure that you have like a, like a pillow or some sort of softer mat underneath it. Okay, now we're gonna do our standing lunge. So standing lunge, leg is off the wall now, back leg is straight, left leg's in front of you, chest up, hands on your hips, and you're gonna hold for 15 seconds now. And deep lunge, back leg elevated. So you're gonna grab your back leg with your inside hand here. Yeah. 
Okay, now we're gonna slide out to our split. Once again, it's gonna be 30 seconds of arms out and 30 seconds of reaching forward and rocking, okay? When you reach forward, make sure your hands are past your foot. Ready, set, go. Make sure the back leg is underneath. It shouldn't be off to the side. Everyone should be trying to balance without using their hands. Arms should be laterally out. And now we're gonna reach forward and rock side to side. Reach forward past your front foot. Try to get the, the right hip down to the floor. Okay, we're rocking side to side. Right hip's coming down and then we're moving off to the left, okay? On this one, your back leg can move a little bit because you're gonna be rocking side to side. All right, now we're gonna to move to a frog position, okay? And we're just gonna move through um, frog, right leg straight, left leg straight, then center split. We're gonna do 15 seconds of each. Okay, so basically a total of a minute. Ready, frog position first. Uh, preferably your chest is on the floor here, I hope. And go. And now we're gonna straighten our right leg, keeping our left leg bent. Don't make it so I can hear it there. Don't make it echo. Now you're gonna straighten your other leg and bend your other one. You don't need to hear me over that, you can hear me in person. And now we're gonna straighten both legs into our center split. And we're gonna hold this for a minute. For those of you who can see Mr. Dan's in his center split, if you look at the boxes on the screen, it's pretty good. Hopefully it's not better than you guys. Make sure your chest is on the floor or your elbows if possible. Okay, now we're gonna lie on our stomach. And we're gonna do our quad stretch, okay? So we're gonna grab our right foot and pull it to our bottom, okay? We're gonna do this for 15 seconds on each side. Soon we will be done with our stretching and then we're going to go through some legs and some abs for about 40 minutes. I'll give you guys like three, three minutes, a three minute break between now and when we start our conditioning stuff. Okay, and other side. So grabbing the other foot, pulling into the bottom, keeping your hips flat on the ground while you do so. Make sure your knees are together here. And now we're gonna do 10 press ups. So you're still lying on your stomach. You're gonna stay like that, and if you watch Annalisa, she's just pressing her chest up into an arch position, going up and down 10 times, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, make sure your hips stay on the ground, girls. Do not let your hips leave the floor. Your shorts cannot leave the floor. Nine. Ten. All right, now we're gonna do 10 cat cow, okay? So you're gonna get on all fours. When you go from an arch to a round, I want you to count one, one. So count one when you go to arch, count one when you go to round, okay? You can see her right there. Mr. Dan's doing it, you can see him doing it. He's on a different screen though. Okay, so we're gonna do 10 in each position. When we're done with that, we're gonna roll over to our back and get ready to do some bridge rocks and bridge holds, okay? If you need to elevate your feet for a bridge rock and a bridge hold, then find like your couch or something that's not gonna slide 
something that's heavier than you are or something that's bolted down. And then you're going to put your feet up on the edge of that and use that to uh, push into for your bridge rocks, okay? So she's just going to do them there on the floor. So she's pretty flexible. So we're going to push up to our bridge. We're going to do 10 rocks. Ready? We're going to go on my count. Ready, set, go. And one, two, three, four, five. We're going to hold the 10th one. Six, seven, eight. Push your armpits backward. Nine and 10. Hold it. Hold it. Armpits are pushing back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and now rock and roll. Okay, we're going to do rock and roll, and we're going to do five of them. Okay, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we're going to have a three-minute break. I will now unmute you, which I'm sure will be very chaotic, but you can talk amongst yourself to the best of your ability and talk to your friends. Okay. And then uh, in three minutes, which I will time, then we are going to start doing our legs and core stuff, okay? So you are now all able to speak. Hi. 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 Hi, Allie. Hi, Emily. How's it going? Hi, Emily. Hi. How's it going, Emily? Hi, Emily. Hi, Chrissy. Hi, Chrissy. Hi, Chrissy. Hi, Chrissy. Hi, Chrissy. Now muted. I am the only one who can be heard. 
So we're going to start with our leg stuff. Um, some of this stuff you might need a partner and well, one thing, there's one thing that you might need a partner. Okay. If you don't have a parent there to hold your legs for, um, for hamstring pushups, then you could just put your feet under like the edge of your couch. Maybe if it doesn't lift up when you go down, and I would also make sure that when you did the hamstring push-ups, we're not starting with them, but we're going to do them. Make sure when you do them that you have a pillow under your kneecaps, okay? So make sure everyone's got like a couch or a partner, okay? And if you don't, and also a pillow, okay? Um, that's about all we'll need. And I, I just make sure you're in a room that is enough space where you could do like a candlestick straight jump, a mountain climber, a frog jump, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so we're gonna start with 10 candle six straight jumps, okay? We're gonna go on my count. Um, I will count when it is time. When Anna rolls back, I will say the, I'll say one. Okay, ready, set, go. One, two, don't hurt your candle stuff. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so this one, some of you have done it before, some of you have not done it before. It's harder. Um, it says we're gonna do 10 on each side, but we're just gonna start with five because I'm interested to see how this goes first. Okay, so we're gonna do candlestick to a single leg stand, okay? So just watch her do one real quick, okay? Go ahead, do it. So candlestick, she stands up with one leg. The other leg should be held out straight in front of you. Your hands should be reaching forward as you come up off the floor to help you uh, get a little bit of momentum and help you with your balance, okay? So make sure that you're not near something that you're gonna crash into and that, you're, that you have enough room here, okay? All right, so we're gonna start with our right side, then we're gonna go with our left side, okay? Ready, set, go, one. Two, three, make sure you're holding that other leg up, okay? Stand up with one leg here. Four, and five. Reach forward as you stand up, good. And now we're gonna do the other side, ready? Just do your best. One, two, Reach forward as you stand up. Try not to touch that, that straight leg to the floor. Three, try to hold it off the floor. Four, all pretty good, Christy. Five, good. Oh, you got a lot of you on here. Okay, so now we're gonna do a bodyweight squat with what's called a pulse at the bottom. So she's gonna squat down and then she's just gonna kind of like do a little bounce at the bottom so go ahead do it squat pulse so it's like squat come up an inch go back down go all the way up okay so do it again one more time just like that okay we're gonna do 15 reps you're going to keep up with her i want your hands to be out forward in front of you okay ready and go one two Three, make sure you squeeze your butt as you stand up to a straight line. Four, everyone make sure your hips are going back first. Who is the, wait, who is that? Brooklyn, no weights for this. Do not use weights unless I tell you to. And also, um, yeah, basically, if I don't tell you to do them, don't do them, okay? Is that four? Okay, ready, and five. Six. Seven, Diego lower, eight, nine, 10. Lily, sit back more at your hips to start the squat. Girls, make sure you're starting the squat by letting your hips bend before your knees, okay? 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 
Good. And now we're going to do hamstring push-ups, okay? So she is going to use the red block as a spotter, okay? The red block's holding her legs in place. Some of you now are going to need your parents to hold you. Parents are going to hold by uh, around the Achilles, okay? Kind of right above the heel. You are going to push against whatever it is that's securing your legs, okay? So she's going to push into the red block as she lowers down as slow as possible. Her hands are going to slow her down, and she's going to push, and then try to push into the block to go back up, okay? These are hard. They should be difficult. The goal is to not bend at your hips and to go as slow as you can on the way down. The downward part is the most important. Go as slow as you can by pushing into your spotter or whatever object is holding you. Okay, ready? And go. Lower as slow as you can. One. Good. And two. Three. Go slower, Bree. Four, super slow on the way down, but don't pike. Don't pike at all. Five, super slow. Push into your spotter. Don't use your arms so much on the way up, Lily. Use your legs. Lift your mom up instead of pushing with your arms so much. Six, don't use your arms a lot on the way up, girls. Use your arms as little as possible here. Seven. Oh, very good, Christy. Christy's legs are working. I can see it. Eight. Nine. And ten. Very good. I thought that went well for most of you. It seems like everyone had a decent setup or a spotter, which is nice. Okay, so now we're going to stand up and we're going to do calf raises, okay? And you're going to do 50 in a row, ready? And go, one, two, three, four, five. Make sure you're as high as possible on releve, girls, and your weight is on your big toe. Six, keep your heels together. Seven, go higher. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Now we're going to do toe raises, okay? So we're lifting our toes up. Ready? And we're keeping our heels down this time. One, 50 times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, nice camera angle, Emerson, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Okay, so we're going to do split squats next. They're going to be standing split squats without weight. Um, for this week's workout, and all the stuff we did this week, we're not going to do weights or like sliders or, or resistance bands. Uh, the Booster Club should have sent you guys all a list of equipment that you'll need for future video workouts for as long as we may need to do them. So I'm going to give you guys till next week to get whatever it is that's on that list. Okay. 
Um, and then once that happens, we might use like a dumbbell or two dumbbells or a resistance band or a slider or a foam roller in the future. This time you guys didn't do foam rollers, but we, we might use one in the future. Okay, so we're gonna do split squats. We're gonna do our right leg in front. So she's gonna stand in kind of a split stance, okay? And she's just gonna go down and up. I, I, know, I don't wanna see you guys getting your knee to go in front of your foot. Your knee in the front does not go in front of your front foot. You just go straight down and straight up. Your, uh, your torso, like your stomach, chest, and hips, should all just be going up and down in a straight line, okay? Ready? Hands around your hips, and one, two. Amelia, you're going down forward too much. Go directly down, not forward. Three, just go straight down, girls. Four, five, good job, Bree. Six, Caitlin, nice, seven. Girls, make sure that also that your camera is positioned in a, where I can see your legs when we do stuff like this, okay? From the side or from the front? The side's better. Eight. Nine. Ten. A little more straight down there, Chrissy. That was better. Eleven. Kenzie, move your front foot out more. Twelve. That's better. Now go down more, Kenzie. Don't lean forward into it so much. Just straight down. Bend your back leg more. 13. That's a little better. Yep. 14. 15. 16. Just more straight down there, Liv. 17. Good, Ariel. 18. 19, 20, other leg in front now. So remember girls, we're trying to just go straight down, not forward. It should not look like you're lunging forward. It should just look like you're, like you're going just straight up and down. Ready? One, two, very good, Lily in level four, three, uh, Lily Gagliano, you can move your foot out a little. Four. There you go. Five. Grace, move your front foot out more. Six. Seven. Make sure your knee doesn't go in at all, too, girls. That's another thing to think about. Eight. Nine. Harper, try to go a little bit more straight down. Ten. That's a little better, just straight down. There shouldn't be any forward movement with your hips. 11, 12, there we go. 13, 14, 15. Make sure you keep your foot flat, whoever's foot that is that just came off the floor. 16, keep the foot flat. Make sure the big toe stays in contact with the floor the whole time. 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. And now we're going to do a single leg hip thrust with your back elevated on something like a couch or a bed. Okay. So your shoulders will be on the couch or a bed or something like that. Okay, so if you see Anna, she's gonna use the rainbow block. She's gonna put her shoulders on the edge of the rainbow block. She's gonna bring her right leg to her chest. You slip, put your arms out to the side. Yeah, just keep your arms out, it'll help you balance. If you need to put your arms out to the side, that's fine. If you can handle doing it without that, that's fine. Uh, Emerson, that bed looks a little too high. If you have something a little lower, that'd be preferable. Mm. Caitlin, that looks good. Gia, that looks like it might be good. Everyone looks like it's probably good. Okay, so we're gonna do uh, 25 hip thrusts on each side. And then we're going to do both legs on the ground, double leg hip thrusts 25 times, ready? 25 times on the left side, ready? And one, two, make sure you squeeze your butt and push through your heel, three, Four, your bottom does not touch the floor. Five, 
Greatest, move your foot out and go higher up. Six. Seven. Squeeze your bottom to go up. Push through your heel. Eight. Nine. Very good, Caitlin Snowberger. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Don't arch your back, girls. Just stay in a straight line. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Good. And now we're going to do our other side. Okay. And ready? One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Make sure, girls, make sure your butt is off the edge of whatever you're on. Make sure only like your shoulder blades are on the bed or the couch or the block or the ball or whatever it is you're touching. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Emma, roll forward more and move your feet in. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Good. Now put both your feet down and your shoulders will remain on the object that whatever they were on. And now we're going to do it with both our feet on the floor. Okay. Your hips will go down. They will not touch the floor. Put your chin on your chest and you do this, by the way. Okay. I don't want your head back. Look at your uh, knees and your hips as they come up. Okay. Ready? And one, two, three, four. Move your feet in, Anna. Five. Make sure your feet are underneath your knees. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. You should be feeling this in your butt, and that's the only spot. If you're feeling it in your lower back, you're arching too much. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, make sure you're squeezing your butt and looking down at your legs. 22, 23, head down, chin on your chest. 24, 25. Okay, good. And now we are going to do our shaping circuit, okay? And we're going to lie flat on our back. I know it says you're gonna do 10 reps and hold for five, but that's actually extremely difficult. So we're gonna do five reps and hold for five, okay? So what we're going to do is, I know most of you, if not all of you, have done the shaping circuit before. So we're going to go upper body hollow, five reps, hold the last rep for five seconds. Lower body hollow, five reps, hold the last rep for five seconds. Same with full body hollow, same with hollow body rock. Okay, so obviously you do five hollow body rocks and you hold a hollow body hold for five seconds, okay? Um, the big thing that's important is that you have really good form and that your shapes are correct. I don't want to see your lower back coming off the floor on the hollow. That's the number one thing that we're trying to avoid. We absolutely do not want that. So if you have to, you could either, you can make it easier by putting your arms down at your sides instead of all the way up. Um, you could also make it easier. If that's still too hard, then bend your legs very slightly, but they still need to be together and they still need to be pointed and your arms would be down. Okay. But I would like everyone to try arms up to start with. If you feel your lower back leaving the floor or, or if you feel the exercise in your lower back, like it's like kind of like getting tired, like it's being used, then that's the sign that you are not strong enough to do that hold. Okay. And then you have to step down to the easier progression. Okay. All right. So we're going to start with the upper body hold first. Then we're, we're going to start with our, our hollow and our upper lower full body and rocks. Then we're going to do our arches. Then we're going to do our side holds. Okay. Ready? Upper body hollow. One, two, Three, keep your arms with your head. Four, make sure your shoulders leave the floor. Five, and hold. One, two, three, four, 
five. Lower body. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, and hold. One, two, three, four, five. Full body. One, two, three, four, five, and hold. One, two, three, four, five. Hollow body rock. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, and hold and freeze. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Now we're going to roll to our stomach. We're going to do the same exact style. So upper, lower, hold, and rock with the five second hold at the end of every fifth rep. Okay, ready? And one, upper body. Two, three, four, five. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Lower body. Make sure your legs are straight on this one and you're squeezing your butt at the top of every rep, okay? This is, very, this is one of the easiest ones to be sloppy with. One, two, three, four, five, and hold it. One, two, three, four, five. Full body now. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, and hold it. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to do rocks. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, hold. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to do the right side of our body, okay? So if you look at her, make sure that the your right side is on the ground, right arm is to the ear, hips are facing forward, head is in alignment with the rest of your body, no pike in the hips, and your left hand is gonna be on the ground with the palm flat to the ground in front of your stomach to help you balance. When we do our upper body holds, I want you guys to make sure that your shoulder, your right shoulder, is leaving the ground, okay? So you're pushing up that high, all right? We're really trying to bend at the, at the opposite side. We're bending at the side that is facing the ceiling, your left side, ready? Upper body, one, two, keep the arm to the head, keep the arm straight, three, four, five, and hold it, ready? One, two, three, four, five, lower body. Make sure your feet are together here, make sure your hips are not piked. And one, two, three, four, five, and hold it, one, two, three, four, five, and full body. Ready? One, two, three. Keep the arms straight. Legs are together. Four, five, and hold it. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're doing five rocks and a five second hold on the fifth rep. Ready? And begin. One, two, three, four, hold. One, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to do our other side. And upper body. One, two, three, four, five. And hold it. One, two, three, four, five. Lower body, feet are staying together. One, two, three, four. Five and hold it. One, two, three, four, five. And full body. One, two, three, four, five. And hold it. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to do five rocks, then hold the fifth rep. Ready? And begin. One, two, three, four. And hold. One, two, three, four, five. Good. And stand up. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to go through our calf raises and toe raises again. Okay. We're going to do 50 more of each with the feet turned out. And then I will let you guys talk for like, I don't know, like five minutes. Okay. We're just going to keep doing legs un until five minutes. 
is left. And then I'll let you guys talk to each other for the last five minutes. And uh, I'll let you know anything that you need to know. We're going to do this again on Friday from two to three. Um, I've already sent out your schedule for the week. It includes like a list of some basic gymnastics things that you guys can try to do at home. Um, some of you might have a floor beam. You can use that for the beam stuff. Some of you might have like a decent little bar at home. Some of the stuff is able to be done in the bar. Some is not. Uh, most of it can be done in anyone's house. And it's just basic skills that are really good basics for you to work on at home so you don't get rusty without being uh, unsafe. Okay, the main thing with the gymnastics basic skill list, which is going to be what you guys are going to do tomorrow on your off day. That's what you guys are going to do. So make sure you like check your emails uh, today and tomorrow. The Booster Club will send it to you and uh, print it out or, or just view it on a tablet or something and then or write it down. And then you guys can go through the stuff kind of on your own. Okay, and then you're free to do that on on your own. Like you can do it like in the morning before we do these conditioning workouts and stuff like that on friday we're going to mostly work we're going to do some arm stuff we're going to do some flexibility and we're going to do a lot of handstand stuff on friday okay but that is the schedule for the rest of the week for you guys and then i'll i'll mail i'll email you one through the booster club for next week sometime on like sunday probably okay all right so let's finish with our calf raises and our toe raises now so feet are turned out heels are together i want you to keep your heels together throughout the movement and go as high and releve as possible. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Go higher, Brie. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Make sure you're not putting your weight so much on the outside of your foot. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. Try to have your hands at your hips. 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. And we're going to do our toe raises. Same thing. Ready? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. Okay. And that'll be it for today. Make sure you look out for your gymnastics basic skill list and your information for Friday's meeting. It should be sent to you within, within the day or sometime tonight or tomorrow morning, I would guess. Okay. All right. Thank you to all of you for participating in this. I really appreciate it. It was good to see all you guys. I appreciate you being so dedicated and hardworking. Um, I'm going to unmute you guys now so you can talk to each other. And in four minutes at three o'clock, I'm going to close the room because we got to get ready for the optionals and the excels, uh, the higher level excels who are going to be on shortly. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you.
Hi. 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 Hi.